Okay, here we are out in the field. We had a lot of water coming up from the main line. The pivot wasn't getting any pressure. So we're just digging up this hole. There's an old capped off riser right here. It's gotta be leaking somewhere around that riser because it washed out. You can see it washed out a bunch of gravel out around the hole. And uh, so we dug it out a little bit with the backhoe. We'll see if uh, we can find the leak. Okay, we are still here in the middle of this hay field. Uh, we did find, we thought it was a broken riser. It was actually a broken main line. Uh, if you look here, we had to cut it off there to right here. It's That's about, oh, 10 feet or so. We went up and we got some pipe and as you can hear we did have one other spot in the field that uh, was leaking so we got some pipe and a repair coupler we'll go over here and i'll show you what trevor and josh are doing uh, we just cut a little valve out uh, for the repair coupler and i'll show you right over here what they're doing so they're down here putting in a bolt-in repair coupler on this section of line out here, out here in the middle of the hay field. The main line goes from that pivot here. Just dug it up with the backhoe. There's the other section over there that was leaking. It broke about a 10 foot chunk. Let me just go and show you this chunk that is broke and see. You tell me what kind of, what would break a pipe like this. So right here is this broken piece. Uh, here's the break. You see the break right here? It's broken here and it goes like this all the way down. It's kind of all uh, wavy. So. I'm going to say we had a shock wave that broke the pipe. No pun intended. Anyway, we're getting it fixed. Okay, here's the main line. We got it all fixed. There's the new chunk of blue pipe. It is 125 PSI main line, 6 inch. Goes down there. Trevor's just finishing tightening up. This is the repair coupler I was telling you about. It's got a rubber gasket in there that you put on, then you just tighten it down and squeeze it and now we got it all back together we just got to bury it in and turn the pivot on and watch the water make sure there's no leaks